Hi, this is Paul from paulbrotby.com. A quick look at cryptocurrency. Obviously, uh, we, those that, are, that hold cryptocurrency right now are in a bit of a pickle. You know, uh, portfolio has probably gone down by 50%. Um, is it time to panic? Um, do you need to worry? Or do you need, in my case, for example, I'm just going to put black tape over that portfolio and wait for it to cover. Um, a bit of recovery could could take a time but I want to look at past behavior on Ethereum for the last year uh, what happened last May June and July and uh, what's happening right now and you know we're, we're hitting the same sort of zone so this is uh, Ethereum um, it's on the daily time frame and we can see uh, this period where my mouse is now this is the the middle of May um, 2021 and we had a really big correction down into this zone of, which I've highlighted now because what I've done to to highlight this zone is I've, I've actually looked at this uh, this a pivot on this big bat pattern that we've just formed uh, you know since uh, the beginning of the year really uh, 2022 uh, and also I've, I've looked at these uh, tests at the bottom uh, to define the bottom of the zone and then uh, a lot of pivots here and here with um, with the top of the zone there so we, we've tested it from underneath as well uh, but mainly we've tested it from from above and it's held as support before so you know one thing you could say is if it does break this we we are in for a one hell of a torrid time um, so you know when we're investing and trading uh, whether it's stocks or crypto we look for previous supports to hold now if that doesn't hold then we are in a bearish market and we really do need to um, you know to either hold or just get out uh, but for me I just want to wait and see and see what happens so we got the we got the May bounce here uh, that came really right down we, we tried to recover again but then in June it came down to test that same sort of zone again towards the end of June 2021 uh, a little bit of recovery but nothing uh, into July 2021 and then we have the major recovery to make the new highs, um, you know, in that November 2021. But since then, we've had this move down to test that zone again in January. We've come back um, up again. Now, at this point here, we've had this butterfly pattern form because we had higher supports. This A pivot here, this A pivot, this C pivot, they're higher support. So there was. There was a call for you know for this maybe to start recovering uh, but then we've had this d pivot and then we've come back right back down again to test this support zone so this is really really crucial really so we're talking <coughs> bottom of this zone is around about seventeen hundred dollars top of this zone uh you know nearly two thousand two hundred dollars this is a critical zone for ethereum and moreover you know ethereum is one of the big boys uh you, you know um, if this can hold and start to move away um you know I'm not going to say I'm not going to say it's going to drive the the crypto markets, uh, but it may be a good sign. I mean, a lot of my holdings are in Ethereum. This is why I'm I'm looking at this right now. Uh, I have got some Bitcoin as well, and we'll look at that in a second. Uh, but you know, those holding Ethereum or a cryptocurrency uh, now is not the time to panic just yet. Um, for me, I've decided personally to put black tape over it and just let it ride out. Uh, the you know with uh, Russia Ukraine oil and all that sort of stuff that's going off right now uh, you know the the US indexes are suffering and are maybe in bearish territory so you know th these this market is just following that market uh, and it will recover uh, whether that takes six months to a year to two years um, nobody knows no one's got a crystal ball all we can look at is past performance uh, and we can see right now that we are in a really good support zone if this can hold there may be opportunities to add to your um, ethereum because to be honest ethereum right now is quite cheap but we don't we don't buy at the lows we wait for that support to form wait for it to start to uh, move away from that support be more confident that it's moving away maybe through these a and c pivots as well so if we if we put that a and c pivot on there we've got a big pivot down here as well you know i reckon you know if we can get through there around about 2683 um you know could we push through that pivot maybe and go and test those highs that that is quite possible 
if your average holding position is quite high on Ethereum, um, you know, you don't want to be going long just yet or buying any more just yet because this could fail and come down anyway. Wait for that support to form and then start to move away, perhaps through this little zone as well, just to give you that little bit more confidence here. Or start to, to feather in small increments going through and if it does push through, you get some uh, larger ones. So just a quick look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin's slightly different in that we've had, uh, we're testing that uh, a similar sort of zone, if I just take that off there, uh, we are, we, you know, I've defined this zone here from this A pivot. Um, the top of the zone is of these pivots here, but we have broken through that zone. So, the, you know, could this be in free fall to come and test this sort of level, $12,000 maybe? Um, you know, a, a lot of uh, crypto is purely subjective and there's a lot of hype on uh, social media. And things like that there's no real um, I think with cryptocurrency there's no real sophistication uh, with with investors uh, there's just a lot of hype on social media so for me technically um, you know we are in the realms of with this daily you know we're trying to push down through this support if this holds and starts to come back up again that's fine but we are in the realms where that could fail uh, if we get some fresh air between candles uh, and this and coming down, we could, you know, come down and test that $20,000 level quite easily. So, you know, it's not all um, bright news uh, with Ethereum, which is my major holding. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, again, but if, if Bitcoin's the driver, uh, then obviously we're, we're in for a tough ride if this comes down. We've had quite a bit of a rejection today of those lows. Um, we are higher than average volume actually for the last week or so on this move down. So there's some major selling going off in Bitcoin right now. Um, let's see what these rejections uh, hold. Does do, do you know? Do the candles hold on to this zone and start to push up? We don't know. No crystal ball. Let's just keep an eye on watch. But my my main um, focus really is on Ethereum and where we are with that. So again, let's just keep an eye on this. Hopefully that helps. Um, for me, I'm not panicking right now. Um, I'm just going to watch and wait to see if this support for Ethereum can hold. If not, black tape, wait for it to recover. Nothing else I can do. The money I put into crypto was money I was prepared to lose. And I think any sensible person over the last few years um, wouldn't have put any money into crypto that they weren't prepared to lose because it's new, uh, it's volatile, the market is not sophisticated, uh, so uh, it's what we call a punt, uh, and that punt has paid off in some cases, if you took it near the highs, uh, and if you're still in these now like Ethereum, like I am, because it's longer term, uh, and you know, with, uh, with Crypto.com and a few others, you can actually uh, stake that Ethereum now, so you can earn, uh, you just gotta be patient and wait, and let it play out so hopefully uh, that helps a little bit and uh, take care out there i'll speak to you really soon